So that taught me if I want to find the percent of increase, all right, I knew from 100 to 120 was 20%. So I now just had to write down the information so I know how to do it for all the problems where the numbers weren't easy. Does that make sense? So if from 120 to 120 is 20%, using these numbers now, Luca, I want you to try to tell me a formula to figure out that the answer was 20%. What did I do? Only using 100 and 120. Perfect. Perfect. So far, listen. All right. Exactly. So the first thing he said was, I know 120 minus 100 is 20. Okay. But now how do I make that out of 20%? What did I do next? How did I get from 20 to knowing it was 20%? put 100 on the bottom. So that was 20 out of 100. All right, so now that is perfect. So now the question I have for you is, what is the meaning of 120 minus 100? What's the meaning of that? That's right. It's finding the increase. So we're going to find we're going to call that the change. All right, we're going to call that the change. I went from what? 100 to 120. So how do I calculate change? Come on Grant, you guys, this is super important. How do I calculate change? You subtract. Thank you, whoever said that. You're subtracting. What am I subtracting? I'm subtracting the higher from the lower. Not necessarily. I don't like that because you could be going down. All right. So what we say, it's the um, difference. All right. Divided by the original amount. I went from 100 to 120. All right, so it's the change divided by the original amount. That's the formula, all right? The change divided by the original amount. Now, I don't like to tell kids if it's a increase or a decrease, because if you can't tell me if that's an increase or a decrease, we have some problems, do you agree? So I went from... 100 to 120, so now that's going to be a what? An increase. So how much was the increase? 20, because I did what? 120 minus 100. Bless you. Sometimes it's 100 minus the other number, all right? We always say it's the change. Did I go up or did I go down? All right, and I'll give you a good example, right? So everybody look at number one. All right, I need everybody to tell me what is the change for number one? Six. Now the original was what? 12. So everybody take their handy dandy calculator, even though you already know this, and just go six divided by 12. What is that? 0.5, but I've told you, you can write numbers as a decimal, as a fraction, or as a percent. This is a percentage. They want the percentage. So 0.5 is the same as what? 50%, guys. That's all there is to it. So the formula is the change divided by the original amount. And this would be considered a 50% what? Increase. So now everybody's got their handy dandy calculator in their hand because we're going to speed through this. All right, number three. First of all, is it going to be an increase or a decrease? So what's the change? 48.50 divided by the 
$39. Come on now. Stop just saying things. I, I, I appreciate what you're doing. All right. But I want you to think through it carefully. The change. You said division. How do you find the change in something? You subtract. You have to subtract. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's subtract. And what do I get? Somebody said 9.7. Is that correct? Yeah. So the change is 9.7. And then I always divide it by where we started. Where did we start? 48.50. All right. So now take your calculator, do 9.7 divided by 48.50. What is it? 0.2, which is equal to 20%. Now, again, please stop with the bickering and, and, and just let's come on and get this thing done. This is a lot of work, and I don't feel like giving you a bunch of homework. All right? So we're going to go around the room now. Is this a 20% what? Decrease. All right? It's a 20% decrease. So back to what we were saying. The change is always going to be the high minus the what? The low. But then you got to look and say, did it increase or it de did it decrease? All right? So we're going to start up here at the top, number five. All right. I want to tell me what the change is. And the original is. All right. So what's my answer? Shh, shh, shh. Even though you should know this one. Which is the same as 70%. All right. Miss Brooklyn is up. Here we go. What's my... Brooklyn, would you stop telling me that and get your calculator in your hand and tell me what the change is? Stop acting like you can't get this right. How do we find the change? Subtract them, girl. Come on. What'd you get? 4.4. 4.4. Then you always divide it by, what's the original? 18. Yes, 18.10. Tell me what that is. And of course, everyone's doing it. It's okay. Just tell me. Was it 0.2 or 2? Two? Take your calculator. Listen, guys, I, I really don't need corrections. or I don't need you to tell me, no, that's not correct. Believe it or not, I know what's correct. I don't need help. I'm trying to teach everyone in the classroom. All right, so I'm helping her. She said she wasn't sure if she could do it. So I'm teaching her how to do it. Your job is to zip it. And if you're so brilliant, just finish the page. And now you don't have homework. Brooklyn, try again. It doesn't matter to me. Just tell me what the answer is. Point what? Two, four, three, zero, nine, three, Anybody else get point two four three something, <laughs> right? So now we're going to say that it's 24 and we're going to round it to the nearest tenth of a percent. So we're working on our rounding. So it you said point two four what? Um, point two, four, three, zero, nine, three, okay, so here we go. So when we're rounding to the nearest tenth, this is the nearest tenth of a percent. So we're going to say this is approximately 24 point what? 3%. That's exactly correct. Did anybody else get that? That's because you didn't subtract the big number from the small number. And is this an increase or a decrease? It will be an increase. All right. So now from nine, Luca, what's the change? You could do this math mentally. 23. 23. What was the original number? Um, well, let's say 28. 28. All right. So I need to calculate the amount of change no what number do you read first on the fraction 
Yeah, 23. All right, I got, I got a big decimal. Just tell me your decimals. Point so, what? Point eighty two, um, one four. Okay, so we're rounding to the third decimal place. So what percentage is this? So, Eighty-two. Right, come on, eighty-two point one percent. Eighty-two point one percent. I'm good with that. Come on, okay. And it is a decrease. Yes, ma'am. I don't care. What? How many kids do have? Um, 17. That's all right. Let's go. Now, percent of error. Sometimes in science, you measure and you make estimations. And sometimes you have good estimates. Sometimes you have a what? Bad estimate. All right, we're trying to figure that out. So let's say you thought you were going 38 miles per hour, but you were actually going what? 35 miles per hour. So the question is still a percentage. So is there really a difference? No. no. Now, sometimes I used to think, well, I forgot. Do I do the actual speed or do I do the estimated speed? What, what do you think you should use? The estimate or the actual? actual? Yeah, of course. You want to know how close you are to the what? To the actual. So don't ever divide by the what? Estimated. You always divide by the actual. So in this case, if you want to make yourself a note, it's just the still the change divided by the actual all right so in this case what's my uh how what's my error uh -uh, uh uh how off am i let him answer he's off by three miles per hour so three out of how many 38 so now everybody's typing in three divided by 38 and what's that, Levi? 0.079. Okay, so now what percentage were we off? Uh, 7.9. We're off about 7.9%. We're off by about 7.9%. All right, here we go. Next. Five divided by... Ooh, they tried to trick us here, but she's not being fooled. 0. 0.1, 10%. You're perfect, girl. Thank you. Next, Talbot, let's see if you're still perfect. So, so you do, uh, you do, you do, you do What's the change? What's the difference in the projected and the actual? You thought it was two. The actual was three. So how far off were you? Yeah, You're off by one. Yeah. And what was the actual? Oh, yeah, three. Yes, one third. Now, of course, everybody in here didn't have to do one third. We all just know because I've taught you so well that that's what? 33 and one third percent. Yes, 33 and one third percent. All right, Isaac. Which one are we doing? Go. 30 over 200. 30 over 200. Whoa, wait. Why 30 over 200? Is it over 200? I'm asking you. Why? That's what we did following. We did it the change over the what? The actual. And what's the actual? Yep. You almost convinced me you're right. So 30 divided by what again? And tell me what that is to a decimal. Zero point one three zero four three. Okay, so what is that? Eighteen percent. Yeah, thirteen point zero percent. And the point zero just kind of shows that you rounded it. 
All right. Number 15, go. Nine divided by 75. What's that decimal? Is it exactly 0.12? which is, thank you, sir, 12%. Okay, let's go with number 16, Kellen. Wow, nice work, buddy. What's that? The whole decimal. Um, say it again, I'm sorry, point 0.1 or point 0.0? Like that? Yeah. Did you say 0 0.1 or point 0.1875? Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought you said. Sorry. So what percent is that? Yeah, I like that. 18.75%. 18 and three-fourths. I'm proud of you for knowing that. I would know 18 and three-fourths percent is really nice. All right, Sydney, let's talk to you about 17. How much? 14? Okay. 13 over 58. Point two two four one. So that's going to be about what percentage? But I said to, I said to the nearest tenth of a percent, right? Not that I would mark you wrong, but I just want you listening. You good? Yeah. Okay, Grant. Um, so it'll be fifteen over hundred. Yes, sir. 15. Yeah, we don't have to worry about that. That's fifteen percent. Good for you, Lydia. Um, this is one that I was questioning about. Stop, but... just come on. Stop with all the shenanigans here now and just do like everyone else is doing. Say it again, please. Uh, point zero five six three. Which and is? Six. What percent is that? Right, so it's always just, if you ever get in trouble, just take your calculator and multiply by 100. To convert a decimal to a percentage, just multiply by 100. But you should know you're just moving the decimal to, that's it. Yeah, girl, there you go. Come on, 5.6%. And look, I would prefer that you go ahead and just raise your hand and say, please, I, I, I'm not sure why we're moving the decimal two places. You hear me? And then you'll know. All right, over here, number 20, go. Two point eight percent. I like the way you said that. Two point eight. Okay, so I want to go to number thirty, or I'm sorry, thirty nine. All right, Hampton, you get to read thirty nine. On Tuesday, a baker sold one hundred and eight cheese cookies. On Wednesday, he sold one hundred and eight cookies. Hundred percent, a change to the nearest tenth of percent. You, does everybody understand what I'm saying? Like this is important in business, right? You talk money, right? And you talk products. You're out selling cookies. For all, so one day you sold 132, the next day you sold 108. You're like, why did that happen? And what, what, uh, what? How far was my percent of change? All right, everyone should be interested in numbers and money, and this is what we're dealing with. So, how do I calculate how much change there was? Shh. What's that? Out of? You're awesome. Then you get 0 0.181818. Okay, so what, what percent is that approximately? Oh. Well, we would say 18.2%.
Now, some of you are having trouble rounding, and I'm, I'm starting to worry if I need to go back to fourth grade and teach some rounding skills, right? And I don't mind. I'm just kidding a little bit, right? But if it's a basic skill, I should be able to just remind you, and you go, oh, yeah, that's right. All right, so let's look at this. Do you agree I'm moving it two places, right, Lydia? Yeah. I moved it two places. Now, I'm rounding to the 10th space, so this is this one right here. So do you look at the eight, right? More than five, so it goes to what? Yes, 18.2% roughly. You with me on that? Five and more, yes. All right, so let's talk about 40 here, Sarah. Yes. So the estimate on the dog is 30 pounds. Once you take the dog to that first checkout, the dog is placed on the scale and actually gets 32.5 pounds. What is the percent of error of the estimate? Okay. Go. So 32.5 minus 30. So 2.5. And divided by actual. That's correct. So then you divide by 32.5. Yep. And then you get um, 0 0.06 million. Okay, so what percent is that roughly? Um, seven, seven, six. Now remember, seven, because this is five or more. Okay. I know it says round to the nearest percent. So if you said 8%, I wouldn't be mad, but I like to do tenths of a percent. I'm going to change that. What? 7.7% is good. What? Okay, did you hear what he's... That's what I'm saying. Come on, you, you, you're you brilliant, girl. You, you know that. Come on, you knew your mistake before you even finished your own sentence. Okay, 41. Who did 40? Was that you, Sarah? Okay, back in the back, 41, go. Oh, no. um, so 41, Bill paid 20%. Bill paid what? $20. And the years ago. Yesterday, you paid $15 for the new DVD. Why did you pay the Yes. I like exactly what you said, buddy. I think we could. Okay, everybody on 45. What, Talbot? 40. What's the matter? Oh. Because it went from 20 to 15. So it went down, right? Oh, okay. You with me on that, right? All right, so 45. It said, what's the percent of change? Is that us? Yeah. What is the percent of change in the number of tourists between 2000 and 2001? Yeah, go ahead. No, just tell me the answer. I want you to tell me the answer for A. And I want Miss Valdez to uh, validate her answer. Then I want Levi to do B. I want Luca to validate his answer for 2003 to 2006. All right. And then let's hear Isaac tell me from 2002 to 2003. And then let's get um, Jackson, you validate his answer. All right. <clears throat> so Isaac, you got C. Levi, you got B. Who did I say was doing A? Me. There you go. Sydney. All right. Everybody's, come on. Everybody's doing them. Now, these are obnoxious numbers, so it's annoying. So that's why you have to be careful. You're verifying C. Yeah, just do it. When Isaac's going to tell me the answer, and I'm going to say, is he correct? You're going to say either yes or no. B. You're verifying B, Levi's. And I'm, when he tells me the answer, I'm going to say, Luca, is he right? You're going to say yes. If you say yes, then we know we're right. And everyone else is doing A, B, and C. Bless you. 
Sydney, whenever you're ready, you can tell me the answer for A. 2.8%. And now I'm waiting for confirmation. Um, yeah, it is 2.8. It's 2.8%. Now, if you got something different than 2.8%, you need to speak up. You need to speak up. If you don't speak up, that means you know what you're doing and you're not scared of these big, weird numbers. Hold on a minute. Tabba, you asking how we got A? You subtracted these two numbers. And then you divide it by 2,000. You divide it by the number, you divide it by where you started. No, you divide it by 2838233, right? So do that real quick. All right, now Isaac is telling me what he got. No. Who's doing B? Levi, did you get an answer yet? Yeah. All right, what did you get? Was it an increase or a decrease? I can't remember. A decrease. 4.9% decrease. And I don't remember, Sydney, was ours an increase or a decrease? Um, decrease. Yeah. From 2000 to 2001 was also a decrease. Thank you. Uh, Luca, did you confirm that? 4.9%? Yep, confirmed. Confirmed. Mm -hmm. Isaac, what did you get for C? So I got 1.5 increase. 1.5% 1 increase. All right. So we know we're good. So yeah. people, does everybody see this pretty easy, right? Yeah. It is annoying. That's why you have a calculator. I like it to just tell me. How did you get the last two? Well, you had to go from 2003 to 2006. So I need this number and this number. So subtract 3,019,375 minus 2,870,293. And then you divide it by the 3 million number. And now everyone else just do the rest of the worksheet. Chop, chop. Good work, guys. Very nice work today. Minimal interruptions. I appreciate it. Good Friday.